Yeah, we're here in the Sheephole Mountains of California's Mojave Desert, where we are working to deliver water to bighorn sheep and other wildlife species impacted by this year's exceptional drought. These animals uh, not only uh, get water typically from uh, natural water sources, but also some of these artificial sources, and they also get a lot of water from vegetation. It was so dry this last winter that they were, were an exceptional need for water and uh, have been hitting water sources right starting in January. So these, there are many drinkers, as we call them, that are now dry. So this particular winter of 2021 uh, is the driest in the memory of some of the biologists who've been working in the field for more than half a century. They have never seen vegetation so dry. We've been in this long-term drought in California for you know, probably at least a decade. We get a little bit of rain in some years, but if you look at the long-term trend, it looks like this is the way of the future. And I think it's really incumbent upon managers to uh, really continue to monitor and work to try and mitigate these impacts that people are having. You know, the, the climate is hotter and drier uh, than it has been in, in our lifetimes. Uh, and it's really the only way these animals are going to survive that is with some active management that helps protect their habitats and not just the way we traditionally think about uh, designating a wilderness and drawing a line around it, but actually trying to make up for the lack of rain that, that falls. You know, these animals are adapted to live in dry areas, but not the kind of exceptional droughts that we're facing these days. So we're here specifically at this site in the Sheephole Mountains to deliver water through uh, helicopter water drops, uh, basically using the firefighting equipment system of these uh, buckets of water brought into artificial guzzlers. And the US Marine Corps has generously uh, allowed some of their crews to uh, Huey helicopters to use this as essentially a training exercise. Many of these drinkers are dry, so it's essential for managers and volunteer groups to uh, try to provision water for these animals to help them weather through this exceptional drought. Uh, with, in fact, uh, the help of the U.S. Marine Corps agencies and volunteer organizations that are all really focused on trying to help these animals out.